Hi guys, if you are coming to Saskatoon as a student of University of Saskatchewan, the first issue will be to arrange an accommodation near the campus. There are a number of options you can choose. You can live on campus and you can also live outside of campus. It is also possible to arrange your accommodation before your arrival so that you can go directly to your place and have a peaceful sleep after a long journey. You can also make some temporary arrangements at hotel or at one of your friends and while your stay you can actually go to the place and physically visit the place which you want to get for your stay. So here's the university website and there are four different places where you can get a room, shared room or an independent uh, place. Uh, first one is College Quarter and it's a new building, very nice, furnished and it has a, a studio apartment, two bedroom apartment, even three bedroom apartments. So you can have uh, this place and the other choice is the Voyager place uh, that is inside the university campus and it has four different residential halls Athabasca, Saskatchewan, Kirko and Kirko Hall Edition and it is also a very nice place and the good thing about this place is it's, it's inside the campus so during the winter uh, you don't need to cross the roads or uh, travel a lot so you just uh, get ready and within five to ten minutes you can get to your classrooms uh, the other option is Mackeon Park and it has four high-rise buildings you can choose uh, one of them and it has also uh, two bedroom units for students with kids as well so the people who come with their families they can go for this Mackeon Park Soros Hall so Mackeon Park has four different buildings Sinibai, Wallstone, uh, Seager Weller and Soros Hall so this is also a very good choice and the fourth one is Graduate House. Uh, this is also a new building and just across the college quarter, just, just beside this building. And uh, uh, most of PhD and Masters students who have their last years, they choose to go there. So, uh, I'm going to tell you the prices, the rents of these uh, choices. And okay, so this is the latest rental rates of 2017 and 2018. The Voyager Place Fall and Winter rates are the single unit is 3768 and it's eight month term and the double unit is 2833 and if you add the meal plan uh, double and single accommodation is uh, $5,217 and this is the room offer acceptance fee $1,000 and about the meal plan uh, all residents living in Voyager Place are required to purchase a Marquis Hall meal plan. Residents wishing to change the default Voyager Place meal plan option must email to this service uh, by September 1st. The college quarter fall and winter rates are one bedroom unit you can get for $7,000. $408 that's also for eight months term and the two bedroom unit will cost you six thousand five hundred thirty six so it's a shared accommodation it doesn't mean that you get two bedrooms uh, you share your bedroom uh, you share your accommodation with other student 
and you will have your own bedroom and the other person will have uh, independent bedroom as well but you have to share your kitchen and washroom and similarly three bedroom unit will cost you five thousand six hundred fifty six dollars and the four bedroom unit costs five thousand six hundred fifty six thousand and the studio unit costs you about six thousand two hundred twenty four and so on and when you go to Mackeon Park it's a little bit cheaper than uh, the other places the one bedroom in a six bedroom unit will cost you $3,760 uh, in Seeger Weller. So Seeger Weller is uh, one of the four high rise buildings in McKeown Park residential area. And that's for eight month residence agreement. And the room offer acceptance fee is $470. If you, uh, if they actually give you uh, sixty dollar per term uh, meal card, so you can use that in Marquis Hall and for other UFS food services outlets. And then a Cineboyne and Wallstone, it's a twelve month residential agreement. And, uh, the one bedroom unit costs you around $839 per month and the two bedroom unit one bedroom in a two bedroom unit will cost you $547 per month and they also give you $60 voucher for the meal per term and then Soros Hall which is a family residential area where you can keep your kids and family with you it's a two bedroom apartment, uh, it costs you $1062 per month and that's a nice place to live if you're coming with your family. So all rooms are uh, unfurnished and laundry is free and you get one phone line and internet for free. For free means that's included in this rental plan. So the fourth choice is Graduate House. The studio unit in Graduate House costs you $1,021 per month. And then one bedroom loft unit costs you $1,286 per month. The two bedroom unit shared is $809 per month. Two bedroom loft unit $1,021 dollars per month and two bedroom deluxe unit not shared $1,350 per month and uh, that's eight month residential agreement available to the fourth year and professional students so they, they actually give preference to the people who are finishing their study and these are the college quarter Aspen and Spruce only in the Cedar Weller Hall. The equivalent monthly rental amounts are college quarter two bedroom unit is $759, uh, three bedroom unit is $651, and four bedroom unit is $651. The Cedar Weller six bedroom unit costs you $441 per month. So you can go to the university website and check the pictures and check the videos they have videos about each residential area and uh, you can send your request uh, to university and they will book you for for any of these accommodations so there's one more uh, booklet which is available for university students it's a residential booklet if you open this booklet uh, it gives you idea about accommodation and rules and regulations and 
introducing the community, residential staff. They have so many activities uh, on these residential halls. Just download this booklet and go through this. Uh, it will give you enough knowledge about university accommodation. Anyway, so apart from university on-campus accommodation, you have another option to get accommodation uh, privately. And you can search for shared rooms or a full house on a very famous website Kijiji so if you write Kijiji.ca you will get to this portal and here you can write uh, rooms for rent and it gives you a lot of options with the prices And the prices outside of campus are almost the same but sometimes if you are living with your friends or you have a community uh, where you want to live you can have choices so that's entirely up to you whichever suits you but you have both options living on campus or living off campus and the travel inside Saskatoon is very easy because uh, student, uh, all students have free ride on Saskatoon Transit. So uh, whenever you start your term and you are registered uh, with, with your courses, then you can get a transit, free transit ticket. It's not a ticket, it's a, they actually top off your student card with their chip and you can travel as many, as much as you want and it's, it's very easy to move around the city. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any more questions just send me an email at info at Thank you.